Good morning, everybody. I see that I have low network connection, but I'm just going to go for it. And as you can see, it's the time of year when I'm driving that we have the Shekinah glory of God driving. Actually, um, it's just the sun coming up, but um, it's good lighting for the face. Good lighting. All right, so last week or the other day, I talked to you about demonic oppression, especially amongst believers. And if you haven't seen that one, I highly encourage you to go back and watch it. It's very basic, it's very foundational, and you need it. And that's, I'm not trying to be sensational by talking about the demonic realm at all. Just like I wouldn't be trying to be sensational if I talked about the angelic realm, which is equally valid and definitely what I'd prefer to concentrate on. But there have been, I will tell you, there have been some accusations, especially against people who um, move strongly in what we call deliverance ministry, that they are, that you're just focused on the enemy. You're just focused on the, the, the dark stuff. And that's not true. The reason we end up having to talk about this is because nobody else will. And also, why are we so curious about the things of the Spirit? Why are we drawn to that? because we're made for it. But there is a terrible lack of teaching and information out there on what it is to, to walk by the Spirit. And I don't mean just behave, I mean spiritual things. You've heard me say before the quote by Bill Johnson that we are a spiritual being having a physical experience. So don't be ignorant of the realm to which you belong, right? You are a spiritual being. You have a soul. Your soul isn't something you can touch. And if you'll go back, especially on YouTube, subscribe while you're there, by the way. If you'll go back on YouTube, then you'll see all the way in order where I explain the basics of what your body, soul, and spirit are, because that does come into play regarding freedom and maintaining your freedom. And for those of you who are believers who've been walking with the Lord, the maintaining your freedom part might be what you were doing to even try to gain your freedom. All right? The, the word says that once you get the house cleaned out, you have to fill it with something. And that is absolutely true. But we've kind of put the cart before the horse sometimes because we only knew about the Bible or the word or, or accountability but we did not know we needed the power of God to cast something out. All right, so that's, that. it's got to go hand in hand. It's not either or. And you're not too extreme this far and you're not too extreme that far, no. Just be full tilt for Jesus and you don't have to worry about, I, you know, people told me, well now be careful. Little's talking in the background. Um, how about that mama snap, right? That can stop a bird in flight sometimes. Anyway, what I was saying is that people will say, now be careful, don't go too far into that. And I understand that yes, we've got to be wise, but I was careful long enough and I was struggling. I was, I was, I'm not saying I don't have a battle now and that there isn't walking out my salvation, but it's just a different deal after understanding the power of the Spirit. Okay, so when you hear people say, be careful, be kind, be honoring, but say, you know what, no. I'm gonna be wise, but I'm not going to be, uh, my eldest daughter, we have a joke because there's a like a meme, or whatever it is, you know, whatever, I can't keep up with all of it. But, um, gosh, even saying that sounded like such a mom. Regardless, it's, it's all about finding that balance. Well, yes. But my idea of balance is full forward. Let Jesus, let the Spirit balance you out. All right, you can't be too committed. You can't be too in love with Jesus. You can't be too obedient. You can't be too mindful of God, right? I'm, I'm obsessed with Him. It's a holy obsession and I'm so glad and He draws me more deeply into it. So don't worry about being careful, that, that's that. So to stay strong, to stay solid after 
you've recognized these things that have been influencing you, moving you, working against you, you do have to fill yourself up. Easy way to do that, Holy Spirit, fill me up in the places where all this junk was. Change my mind. Show me how to think differently, right? That's repentance and Holy Spirit will guide you in that and he will use the Word of God. He will use other believers around you. If there are people that you are hanging out with that are not in the then Holy Spirit convicts you and says, uh-uh, that's not your crowd anymore, then you've got to make the break. You've got to do something about it and quit thinking about it. People are like, oh, I just, I just struggle with that sin. No, kill it. Overcome it and move on. A simple thing is simple to do. Right? It's a make up your mind, change your mind, and Holy Spirit will bring that change, but you also have a part in it. And you must fill yourself up on God's Word, being around other believers, and it's better for you to chop your hand off and enter the kingdom maimed than to keep messing around with something that is stealing your destiny and God's inheritance. So, I hope that um, sheds some light on how to stay free. If you have any questions, as I always mention, please um, private message me on here. Contact me through our website that's down at the bottom. And to get more teaching without having to talk to an actual human, which is so typical these days, go ahead and order a book. Order all of them. They're all good. And thank you for the shares and the likes on this. We're going around the world, guys, and bringing the truth of the kingdom of heaven. All right, so don't forget to release that Rebbe.